the evidence shows you, your agency, the people that directly report to you, suppressed conservative-leaning free speech about topics like the laptop, the lab leak theory of COVID-19's origin, the effectiveness of masks and COVID-19 lockdowns and vaccines, speech about election integrity in the 2020 presidential election, security of voting by mail, even parody about the president himself, negative posts about the economy. The FBI made the social media platforms pull that information off the internet if it came from conservative sources. They, they did this under the guise that it was disinformation. Can you, can you define what disinformation is? What I can tell you is that our focus is not on disinformation, broadly speaking. Well, wait a minute. Yes, line. it is. Well, wait a minute. You're, can I you're, answer the question? You can in a minute. Your star witness said in the litigation, Elvis Chan, who's in charge of this, said they do it on the basis of dif disinformation. We need, a, we need a definition of what that is. Our focus is on malign foreign disinformation, that is, foreign hostile actors who engage in covert efforts to Mr. abuse Ray, Mr. our social media platforms, which is something that is not seriously in dispute. I have to stop phenomenon. you for time. That's not accurate. You need to read this court opinion because you're in charge of enforcing it. The court f has found that, and Elvis Chan testified under oath in charge of this for you. He said 50 percent. He had a 50 percent success rate in having alleged election disinformation taken down or censored. That, that wasn't just for an adversary, sir. That was American citizens. How do you answer for that? Well, first off, I'm not sure that's a correct characterization. Comes of right out of the opinion. You should read what it. I, of, of his testimony. But what I would say is the FBI is not in the business of moderating content or causing any social media company to suppress or censor. That is not what the court has found.